Hi, welcome to Paranormal Captivity. Today I want to tell you about the craziest UFO sighting I had ever heard about, and it actually happened in 1990. Why I'm hearing about it now, I don't know. <laughs> in September of 1990, outside of a secondary school in Zimbabwe, over 60 students all saw the same thing outside of their school. The students ran in, wanted to tell all of their teachers about it, and the teachers were dumbfounded that they were all coming up with this exact same story. The fact that they were all saying the same thing over and over again even convinced the staff there that they had to have witnessed something because they were so genuine in talking about what they had all gone through. The overall consensus is that the kids saw two UFOs, two different alien beings, and multiple other craft coming out of these UFOs. The first thing that the kids all noticed was a sound. And the way they described it was that it was kind of like a flute, but one that scared them. And it was enough to make all of them look up and see these craft in the first place. So they all talk about seeing this craft with a being standing next to it. And they all describe his movement as being something similar to floating or hopping without bouncing and moving above the land. They all described this being's eyes as being very, very large and almond shaped and that they had white pupils, which I had never heard described in any sightings before. But now that I've done some research, seems pretty common and also pretty freaking terrifying. The beings seem to be genuinely interested in them as people but gave off the impression that they were disappointed in what humans had done to the world at large. Which is kind of a big concept for secondary school kids, but that's what they came away with. This encounter is documented in the film Experiencers, which I will link below. It's in five parts on YouTube as well. It goes into detail with this story, but also with the experiences of other people who have seen UFOs, but mostly with people who have been victims of abductions. The claims of these abductees are really interesting. The thing that I find the most fascinating is that they all experience some form of paralysis whenever this visitation begins, and that they feel like they're being pulled out of their body, that it's almost like an out-of-body experience, which is very close to sleep paralysis, for me at least. Along with that, the, the sense of terror is definitely there with them too, but what differentiates from that is that they actually have memories of going into the craft, usually having some kind of experimentation done on either their reproductive system, brain system, or nervous system, and then actually being brought back to their home. But they also all have a period of time where their memory is gone. They're just missing the time. And a lot of their memories that they do have are very choppy and like you've been awake from a dream for a while and then you remember bits and pieces but you can't put together exactly how it worked that tends to be how they relive these experiences. The late Dr. John E. Mack is the person who decided to go and speak with all of these people who've had these experiences, along with the kids that experienced this mass sighting in Zimbabwe. And so majority of the film was his passion project, but he did pass away before it was completed, so it is completed by other people as well. Dr. Mack really was fascinated with the fact that most of these people didn't want to try and convince anybody of anything or sway anyone's beliefs. They just wanted people to understand and get what they were talking about whenever they were going into detail on what they experienced. With this doctor, he had no experience with anything UFO related until way later in his career. He actually was doing a study with somebody who was doing an art project with people who had had some type of abduction experience. And that artist is who referred him to go talk to these people. He went at it from a skeptical perspective and after interviewing these people, that's what ignited this passion for him to try and learn more about this phenomenon and see where exactly it led. So I thought it was a really cool way to approach alien abduction from a very rational standpoint. I thought the documentary was excellent. If you're interested in that kind of stuff, links are going to be down below for the documentary. And with the whole UFO disclosure thing happening just recently, I definitely wanted to talk about something more in the skies this week. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please leave me a thumbs up. Let me know that. If you didn't, you can always leave a thumbs down. That's fine too. Uh, be sure to subscribe if you haven't yet and turn on notifications. That way you get notified every time I upload. I'm Kat and this is Paranormal Captivity. Have a strange day.
Bye. This video was brought to you by Jason Riddle and all of my other Patreon peeps. Thank you so much for supporting me and helping me to be able to do what I love. If you'd also be interested in being a supporter of mine on Patreon, information is in the description box, along with a link for Paranormal Captivity shirts if you'd be so inclined. Also, there's always a mystery link in the description of all of my videos, so if you want some additional spookiness in your day, be sure to check that out too. Enjoy!